And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets taking on the Houston Astros. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Okay, all set to go. And stepping in for New York, Brandon Nimmo. The wind of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. To the right side. Now Tuve handles it. Gets it to first. One up, one down. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And yeah, there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. So up next for New York, Francisco Lindor. Lindor. That one to first. That's a fair ball down the right field line, and that's going to kick into the corner. Around first and hustling for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. That is cool. And at second here with two away. Next is the designated hitter, Pete Alonso. The pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. Pete Alonso takes him deep, and they add a pair. It's 2 nothing. Here's Luis Guillorme. Next offering is downstairs. Swing and a ball popped up. A little bloop single. Two out base hit keeps the inning alive. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. Just a bloop hit behind that third right there. And that's the a really field. tough play for Mark. a third baseman or yeah. shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So. He just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. Here's Mark Canna. And that one is lifted in the air. McCormick makes his way towards it. He's got it. And that is that. Bottom of the first, here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Next one misses, and the count is two and two. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Wanted to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Righty to the plate. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two that strikes. Solid swing from start to hitter. end. On time Michael. with everything. Really good Brent balance. Lee. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Michael Brantley. That one in for a strike, two and two. On a line, base hit. Oh, he throws it away. 
Lead runner to second, so two on and nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice Great enough man. and ripped it into the outfield. And now it's Alex Bregman. Next offering way off the plate. And he gets Bregman, and there's one down. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. No left fielder. Jordan Alvarez. And the pitch. Outside, that's cool. That one ripped. And it hits the fence. The run comes in from second, and they trail by one. He's in there. Picks himself up at RBI. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Here's Kyle Tucker. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. It's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching, but you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. Two on, one out. Swing, and that's ripped towards right center. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's 3-2. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. If you connect, and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Here's Guriel. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Chases that one out of the zone. Two gone now. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. The 1-1. One, one. That one ripped left field. Way back there. Out of here. Jazz McCormick muscles one out. His first homer of the year, and they tack on to their lead. It's 5-2. Two outs, nobody on. So next up for Houston, Jason Castro. Next Ooh, offering misses, right. and a count two and one. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long. But he's got to find a way to shake it off, keep it isolated in one inning, come back out. You could throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. Stays alive. At the belt and fires. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. New inning getting started and stepping in for New York, Eduardo Escobar. The pitch. And now two and one. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly. Dom Smith. Smith stands in. Next offering is foul back. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. And that one almost got him.
Altuve slings to first. Two up, two down. Tomas Nito at the plate. This is a guy who's in the lineup first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. Fouled off. He was late. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Back here at Minute Maid Park. We head to the bottom of the second. Now it's the shortstop, Mauricio Dubon. And a pitch. On the mound, he's got to remember his offense can score a lot. So if he can hit the reset button from here going forward, there's still a chance that his club can win this ball game. And a one-two again. And another ball. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game. And looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. And he deals. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Digging in, Jose Altuve scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. The pitch. Off the mark there. Ball two. And that one fouled off. Two two down. The other way, and he beats the shift. Around first, digging for two. Fires the second too late, and he's got a double. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Here comes the runner. Not in time. He's safe. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's Alex Bregman. The 2-1. Up the middle. And that one finds its way through. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Fouls one off. Two and two. Brantley, the lead runner out at second. Bregman over at first with one away. Got him. And there's two down. And next to hit for Houston, no Kyle Tucker. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Left-hand batter waits. And a foul ball. He stays alive. In the air, right field. Marte makes the catch, and that'll do it. Back here in Houston, on to the third inning. Here's Brandon Nimmo. And the righty deals. Mm -hmm. 
The punch out there, and that's the first down. Here's Starling Marte. The right fielder, number six. Starling Marte. The 1-1. One, one. And there's a foul ball. Through there, got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Here's Francisco Lindor. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. The next offering misses, and a count two and one. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. Stays alive. Two two now. That one fouled off. Comes a two two. And down on strikes. The big right. He strikes out the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. The pitch. Up the middle. Guillaume made a first. And Gurriel is out. So digging in, Chaz McCormick. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. The 1-1. One, one. There's a strike. One ball, two strikes. And a foul ball, he stays alive. And the right-hander deals. On the ground, out to short. Lindor on the first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And a pitch. Three, two now. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. Right-hander kicks deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Out towards right center field. Nimmo gliding as he moves to his left. Makes the grab and that's the inning. Back here at the ballpark, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Here's the 2 2.
And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff up man. Luis Guillorme up now for the Mets. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Swing and a ball popped up. Dubon makes the catch. Two away. Two outs. Base is empty. Now the left fielder, Mark Canna. Mark Canna. Ball to strike. Good eye right there. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Yeah. Next offering finds the zone and the count is four. Count. Three and two. On the ground right side. In time to Guriel. And the Mets go one, two, three. Ready to go, bottom four. And the batter will be the shortstop, Mauricio Dubon. The next pitch misses, two and one. Kicks and fires. That's ball three. Count it three one. And that's ball four. Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good go. question. I the think that if they man. gave the pitcher okay. a full scouting Probably report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Kick, San Diego's. On the ground, a second, might be two. Over to first, one out in the bottom of the fourth. Now Michael Brantley steps in. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through in the big Michael spots. I know Brentley. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists, but you look at the numbers, and this guy always seems to deliver. Oh, now this ball gets down into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Third Yohan Lopez two. gets the Alan. call from the pen. Hasn't Rick pitched ben. in a while. He's Ladies had the last five days off. Well, at this point in the ball now game, we're talking four, about middle four. innings, and he made a little four. length out of this Yohan. arm coming out of Lopez. the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Alex Bregman, the next to hit, one for two. The 2-2. Two -two. Base hit, and a run comes in. Back-to-back -back base hits. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Payoff pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career right since fielder, day one. Now it's the right Kyle. fielder, Kyle Tucker. Drove in two oh. runs on a double back in the first. He's one for two. All loaded up, dangerous hitter at the plate. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, or maybe a long relief guy, to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Sends it to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. Second and third. Two down. Yeah. 
Riel gets a piece. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Two on, two outs. In the dirt. Here comes a pitch. On the ground. Base hit. One run is in. In there safely. So a man aboard and stepping in for the Astros, Chaz McCormick. He's already homered in this game. Next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. And a 2 1 hammered but foul. Guriel, the runner at first with two gone. Next offering is foul back. Next one misses. Full count now. 3 2, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. That's to third. Escobar with the throw to first. And that'll do it. And welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Down the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. And a 1 1. clearly down in this ball game and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing it's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller pitch to pitch make that guy on the mound work to get you out next offering is way upstairs and a swing and a miss and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth now it's Dominic Smith. Baseman, 0 for two, 1 so far. Dominic Smith. Next pitch inside, and it's 2 and 1. Line drive, and a base hit right there. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as expected, but he found a hole that time. And here is Tomas Nito. Castro brings it in, and there's two away. Here's a speed threat, Brandon Nimmo. He's someone that you might not Brandon. describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. 1-1 one, one now. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Next offering is in for a strike. Next one misses, and that's ball three. Left-hand hitter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Alvarez moving under it, squeezes it, and that'll do it. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. At the plate is the Astros catcher, Jason Castro. Here's a 1 1. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Swing and a miss. And the count is even 2 and 2.
stays alive. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Righty delivers. And it's fouled away. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. That one pushed foul. Two two now. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Here's Mauricio Duvall. Not shortstop. Mauricio Duvall. Castro gets his lead at first with nobody out. The next offering misses, and that's ball three. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Swing and a miss, struck him out, and now one away. We'll say Altuve up to it here. Altuve. The two one. Fouled off down the right side. On the ground, right side. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Clearly seeing the ball very well in this one. Take notes on that swing, kids. That was a really nice breaking ball on the low outside corner, and he did all you can do with that pick. He dropped the barrel down to it, stayed inside it with his hands, and just slapped it hard the opposite way. That's a hit. Runner from second crosses the plate, and it's 11-2. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. Adonis Medina comes on now, and this is his season debut. Now it's Alex Bregman. And fouled off. And the pitch. And he gets Bregman. And there's two away. Your Don Alvarez. Up next for the Astros. Alvarez. At the belt and fires. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Second walk of the game for him. And he's been really patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking to. He's just not going outside of what he's looking for up there. He swings and fouls one off. That one misses. Full count three and two. Ground ball right side. Over to Smith, and Tucker is retired. That's the inning. Seth Martinez on the pitch out of the pen here. And he's got a nice lead to work with. Seth Martinez.
Back here in Houston, Starling Marte up to hit. Right-handed reliever. Now a pop-up on the infield. Guriel handles the chance. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Now well, batting. this was a game looking at the pitching Francisco. matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Guriel sends it to first. Lindor retired. Two outs, bases empty. Now at the plate, Pete Alonso. One for two with a two run homer back in the first. The pitch. There's a strike. Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here at Minute Maid Park, bottom of the six. And here's the first baseman, Yuli Guriel. Payoff pitch. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Yuli Guriel comes through, and they add a run. It's 12-2. And now the center fielder, Chaz McCormick, one for three. Next offering is down low, and the count is filled up. Hot shot to third. Sneaks through, base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands no, whatsoever. Not. Such a good feeling. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the That's infield. Good. Just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole. Lindor, that's one. Now to first, and it's a double play. So next up for Houston, Mauricio Dubon. A strikeout and a walk. Dubon. That's the third. Escobar with the throw to first. That ends the frame. Here in Houston, top of inning number seven. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. And he deals. Lifted in the air, right center field. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turn on it nicely for the knock. Mark Canna up now for the Mets. Pulls that one foul. Guillaume aboard here at first with nobody out. To short could be two. Over to Altuve. How about that double play? Eduardo Escobar. El Caballo up to him. Foul ball. Two two down. Ground ball up the middle. Dubon picks it up. Not in time, and he reaches safely. Two outs, runner at first. And now the first baseman, Dominic Smith. One and two now. And that one gets away at the plate. Safe at second. Two two now. Left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. Back 
back here at the ballpark set for the last half of the seventh. And yeah, the batter now, Jose Altuve. The wind of the pitch. Strike two. Next offering misses. The count now two and two. Not close with that one. Three and two now. The wind and the pitch. And he walked him. You get a walk. And you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk. Boo. Way to go. Michael Brantley stands in. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's one away. Alex Bregman up next for the Astros. Bregman. Ground ball left side could be two. Quickly to second for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. And welcome back. We go to the eighth. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tomas Nito. Swing and a miss. And the count is one and two. And a pitch. And a ball evens the count. Got him. And there's one down. Back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Brandon Nimmo. Center field, McCormick moving back for this one. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Now Starling Marte right now at the plate. Starling Marte. And a pitch. This one popped up. Bregman has a beat on it. Brings it in for the third out. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Jason Shreve. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Next one off the plate inside. Two and one. That one fouled off. Two and two. Stays alive. Two, two now. And that one wrapped foul. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. The next pitch misses. Counts full three and two. Next offering is fouled back. Three balls, two strikes the count. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. But why to kick the pitch? And a foul ball, he stays alive. And now the lefty. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. 
in safely with a double, his second of the day. Man, that feels so good when you can win a battle like that. 12th pitch of the at bat, and he finally put it in play for the knock. It's got to be frustrating on the mound when you can't put a hitter away like that. Now the batter now, Kyle Tucker. Next pitch downstairs, and it's two and one. And it's second. Fouls one off. Two and two. Alvarez stands at second with no outs. Oh, and now a wild pitch. Three, two. Stays alive. And here it comes. Into center. Nimmo has this one sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. Runner tagging for third. He's in there. Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. The first baseman, number 10, Yuli Upstein. Gurriel. Lifted in the air, out to left. Canna under it. Brings it in. Runner tagging from third. He's in on the sacrifice fly. It's 13-2. And next to hit for Houston, Chaz McCormick. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Inning over. Back here in Houston, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. The pitch. Next offering is outside. That one is absolutely belted. That ball's carrying. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Francisco Lindor sent it out. His first homer of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 13-3. Here's Pete Alonso. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Dubon to first. And that takes care of Alonso. Here's the second baseman, Luis Guillorme. So now one and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swing and a miss. And he got him. And there's two down. And next for the Mets, now battle, Mark Canna. The left fielder, Mark Canna. Rips that one center field. That's a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Here's the third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Eduardo Escobar. Pitch misses there. Now two and two. This one smoked out to left. He pulls it down, ball game. And the Astros slug their way to a win in this one. Another day, another win. I really think these guys have forgotten how to lose a ball game. It's been so long since they've lost. I really don't know what else to say. They're just a can't-miss ball club right now. 13-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. <laughs>